there, pretty girls. It's Rachel here. Thank you so much for watching. So today I'm going to be doing a bit of an application process for you guys on how to apply sunless tanner. And if you guys know me at all, you would know I am as pale as a cloud. Like I'm, okay, that's, that's incorrect. I'm not gray, but you know, I'm white. So Sun Labs approached me, which I don't know if is like a backwards compliment or not. Look at this. This girl's really pasty. Let's give her some self tanner. But in any event, they sent me a couple of products that I wanted to share with you guys. And it is by Sun Labs, as I said, and it's their self tanning products. And there is a certain technique to applying self tanner. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but if you're especially pale like I am, you have to be very careful about the application process, about you know your hands and around your jawline and on your neck and your um, your chest. You just have to be very, very careful because you're working with such a pale canvas to begin with. So I wanted to test it out and share with you guys my results. I also wanted to show you guys how I apply the products, what it looks like, how it glides on, how it sinks into the skin, um, using it on my face, etc, etc. And so this is the final look. This is what I look like after two uh, coats and it will continue to get darker over the course of the next hour and a half, two hours or so. And so let's get started and I will show you guys how I got this tan, the process, how to put it on and apply it and all my tips and tricks on how to get that perfect application. So let's get started. Okay, hi guys. So I am freshly showered, I have clothes on so you can see that, just pull it up for a little. and my hair is pulled back so it's not going to get in the way, and what I used on my actual skin when I was in the shower is the exfoliant body gel. Now what this does is it basically just removes any excess dead skin that's still left on your skin, obviously, and what I did is I just pumped a little into my hand and I slowly rubbed in circles it all over my skin and just rinse it away. It just smells like really refreshing and clean and not chemically, like very just citrusy and nice. It's not super grainy, it's not harsh on the skin. I use it on my face. I don't even know if I'm supposed to use it on my face, but I did and I'm not breaking out or anything. It just feels really fresh. It's free of any sort of parabens and for those of you that don't know, parabens are a type of preservative that they use in sort of cosmetics and shampoos, you can pretty much find it in every single kind available, and they've been linked to breast cancer and a whole bunch of terrible, terrible things. They're not good for you in any of it. So none of their products contain any parabens, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, so I've been, I use that, and it's good for all skin types, whether you're sensitive skin or you have acne prone skin or dry skin or what have you. So it's essentially just, a, it polishes the skin and, and holds on to excess moisture as well so it doesn't make your skin really dry too. Now on to the actual self tanning lotion itself. It smells kind of like cherry blasters to be honest and it doesn't leave a very, it doesn't leave a strong smell on your skin at all. And I had Chris like smelling my skin um, so he could tell if it was really smelly or not because he can smell it from like a mile away. As soon as I put on any sort of self tanner or I've gone to like the spray tan um, booth, like the mystic tan or whatever, he can smell it instantly. He's like, you stink, get out. And he didn't smell a thing. So that is awesome. <clears throat> this is the ultra dark nat or instant tint and it's also paraben free as I mentioned before. I was really nervous to use this at first because as you guys can see, I'm super pale. I was nervous that I was going to turn really orange really quickly um, because I don't have naturally dark skin so ultra dark kind of freaked me out but I mean I just got a natural really really natural glow and that was really nice so I'm just going to pump a small amount into my hand like that so you guys can see and I'm just going to dot it onto my skin like so all the way down that and then going to rub it in. I go back and forth, but I mean everyone has their own technique on how they do this. And oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like candy. I'm not even lying. And there we go. Like so. Okay, so done that now. I'm going to go wash my hands and then I'll be back and I'll show you guys how I apply it to my face. Okay guys, now for my face. So I don't have any moisturizer on. I've kind of pulled all my hair up so you guys can see. I don't have any makeup. I don't have anything on. 
Um, I'm just going to apply a bit into my hand, just about that much or so, and I'm going to dab it on my cheeks like war paint. It's like war paint, guys. Dot it everywhere along your jaw, and then you just want to blend it. And this has not broken me out. It has not um, caused any like major nodules or redness. Um, just so you guys know, I have um, very oily skin and I haven't noticed anything. And now it looks a little bit red now because I'm like rubbing my face, so don't be alarmed. And then I'm gonna take another little chunk there and I'm gonna be applying it to my neck. Make sure you get up behind your ears as well and up along your jawline. And I always like to just kind of smooth it into the rest of my skin just so there isn't like a crazy line or anything. Uh, wash my hands again and I'm going to show you how, guys how I kind of clean it up and make sure that I don't have like the white palms and like just like the cleaning up uh, side of things. So two seconds. Okay so now my hands are clean. I have taken a cotton pad just like this and run it under water and all I'm going to do for my face is I'm going to go along the sides of my nose, over my lips, over my eyebrows and then I kind of go along the hairline as well like that and then I trace very lightly along my jawline like that and then don't forget the back of your hair as well now I'm just going to zoom out okay so you guys can see, I'm wearing clothes again. Ridiculous. Okay, so now for the hands. So I have washed my hands thoroughly, so there's gonna be like a line here if I don't do something about it. So what I do is I take just a small amount, and you don't need very much, like that much. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply it to the palms of my hands, like that and I'm just going to rub it in, make sure you get all areas. You don't want to get too much into your, your knuckle area or anything like that. And just blend it along, just so you get all over. And now to make sure that you don't get any sort of like weird lines or anything, honestly, I just, I dip it in some water and then I just go along like the outsides of my hand, over my knuckles a bit, like that. And then I go over just very, very lightly over my wrist, on the other side as well, getting the palm a bit of my hand, just to make sure that there aren't any really crazy harsh lines. And that is all there is to it. So now you wanna let it just dry for a little bit. I'm going to wait about half an hour and then I'm going to go put on makeup and I'm going to show you guys kind of in about an hour and a half or so because it will gradually get more and more tanned. Um, the great thing about this particular brand is that they have some bronzer in it as well so you have an instantaneous tan and then it will gradually deepen over the course of about three to four hours. I will be back and you guys can see the final look. Hey girls, so I am back and I put on a tiny bit of makeup. Um, just wanted to show you guys the finished look and it's going to continue to get darker as the hours progress so I mean this isn't the darkest by any means that it's going to be but um, I'm pretty impressed with myself right now. I don't know if you guys can tell but I actually have some color to my skin which is ridiculous. Um, I don't think I've ever gotten this color before in my entire life so the fact that I'm actually this color is crazy. Um, the color is beautiful. It is not too yellow for my skin tone. It's not too pink for my skin tone. It doesn't like, it doesn't smell at all. Like it smells faintly of candy, but nothing like obnoxious. Like you don't smell like an eight year old. It's just really good product overall. I, I actually, I highly recommend it. I, it's, I think for this product, which is the exfoliant plus the tint plus the um, 
there's like a, a, a tanning um, a tanning enhancer as well which is basically like a moisturizer that you apply to your skin and it just helps to maintain that tan that glow so you don't have to keep using this like every day you can use that and it'll help keep it sustained um, and I think all three of them together I think it's about $35 I think that's awesome because I have like the I have the click I think it's Clarins I think is the name of it I got it at Sephora it's like a a sunless tanner and I think it was like $40 and it's just your, for your face so I mean the fact that I can get all three of these products for $35 is a pretty good deal uh, in terms of the overall quality I would say it's really really high I strongly recommend it for those of you who are tanned already for those of you that are really pale like myself you get a really even glow I mean be very careful around your hands and around your face and I mean um, it's all about application really but overall the product glides on very smoothly and I really really enjoyed it so uh, thank you so much for watching this guys uh, let me know if you've tried it before or if there are any sunless tanners that you really enjoy so hopefully that helps young pale girls out there like me to get a nice summer glow and during the, the winter and um, that's pretty much it so I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and I'll talk to you all soon bye guys Mwah.